The main story is developing, and we have learned that it concerns the Federal Reserve. Not repurchasing XRP by the U.S. government. This revelation is revolutionary, particularly in light of the U.S. government's approval of Ripple Labs' launch of XRP payment services. This development isn't just happening everywhere in the country, it's also a result of the Federal Reserve's adoption of the ISO 4217 Act and Standard, which identifies XRP as a crucial cryptocurrency. Now that the Federal Reserve has formally announced its adoption of Ripple's XRP system, it will officially close the gap between other U.S. currencies. Their important XRPs for both domestic and international payment procedures and their financial ramifications. Projected values are driving up the valuation. Approaching thousands, a well-known analyst even says that a $1,000 starting point for each XRP is just the beginning, calling it a remarkably undervalued asset. We're talking about possible values in the thousands of dollars here, not just a few hundred here and there. This video will go into detail about all these interesting developments. We dive, give me some good clicks like like, subscribe, and toggle on notifications. There's been a lot of activity surrounding XRP lately, and for good reason, a Ripple lawyer has pointed out that Ripple Labs may be about to score a big win. Evaluating a $20 million settlement proposal from the SEC, which would represent a victory for Ripple almost entirely not only is this speculative, but there's a good chance Ripple will take this offer especially considering it's the second from the SEC in as many months, but there is yet more mystery, the story doesn't finish there. It occurs when it is revealed that a private SEC meeting under the Sunshine Act notice is set to occur on November 30, 2023. This confidential meeting, which started at 2.15 p.m. and was either conducted remotely or at the SEC headquarters, was scheduled to discuss five important subjects. The fact that the data is verifiable and easily accessible on the United States Securities and Exchange Commission's website makes this even more compelling. These include the filing and settlement of injunctive actions, administrative proceedings, the resolution of litigation claims, and other matters about litigation and enforcement proceedings. We'll update the URL in real time for you to verify this, and you'll see that it has the same comprehensive details regarding these five important areas. It's not simply thrilling. It has been confirmed in detail. Information that might significantly affect XRP, so what does all of this mean? What does this signify for the stakeholders of XRP? The ramifications are enormous, and a settlement this size, especially one that strongly favors Ripple, may herald a new era for cryptocurrency regulation and how the financial community views digital currencies like XRP differently, therefore, the SEC's choice to provide a second set settlement in such a brief period suggests a change in their position that would open the door for XRP to be accepted and integrated into financial transactions on a larger scale, and the agenda of the SEC's secret. Meeting is very instructive. As we dig deeper into the specifics of this meeting and its conclusions, we will likely discover how these decisions will shape the future of XRP and the larger world of digital currencies. The wide range of topics covered, from litigation claims to enforcement proceedings, hint at a comprehensive approach towards cryptocurrency regulation and oversight. This could mean more structured and clear guidelines for the industry, benefiting not just Ripple but the entire crypto community. The availability of this information on the SEC's website lends further credibility to these developments. The recent rise in XRP's popularity is not accidental. We are seeing a major shift in the financial sector involving over 19 central banks, or a sizable portion of the global banking system. Actively investing in XRP, with a mind-boggling $9.4 billion invested in XRP holdings. This data is not only conjectural. It is based on reliable reports. Findings show that 19 of the 45 participating institutions have revealed their cryptocurrency holdings, with the majority of their investment being in the it is also notable how these banks are distributed. There were a considerable number, 10, to be exact, that were in North America, indicating a robust adoption trend in this area. Europe is right behind the seven banks, and the other two are dispersed over various international regions overall. 
Of the $10.27 billion that these institutions have invested in cryptocurrencies, a disproportionate $9.4 billion has been given to XRP. A significant number of central banks have shown a strong preference for XRP, which highlights the growing trust that these banks have in this digital currency. This is not a fad, rather, it represents a substantial change in the financial environment, suggesting that XRP is now seen as a useful and feasible asset in the global economy. With transactions totaling billions of dollars every day, the XRP ledger is undergoing unprecedented activity. This intensive activity is driving up the value of XRP, with forecasts reaching over $10,000 per coin at the core of this enormous upsurge is an important trend in global diplomacy and finance. We're looking at a scenario in which it is purported that Russian President Putin is using XRP to shift money from the digital ruble to the British nations, creating the framework for the ultimate digital currency of the British nation's central bank. All financial transfers within this framework are purported to be processed. Using the ledger XRP interestingly according to newly emerging evidence derived from leaked documents, Ripple and Russia may have a formal collaboration. This suggests that not only the Russian government and the central bank but also other British countries may be involved. India, Brazil, and Russia in a moment, China and South Africa will implement the XRP ledger for their financial activities. Let's examine these exposed records. That support these assertions and reveal a startling $10,000 per XRP valuation. This increase is attributed to the combined buyback as these countries begin to apply their strategies in the international financial arena. Stay tuned as we reveal these documents and analyze the implications. In this global financial revolution, which is characterized by the expanding impact of XRP in the global economy, the advancements within the announcements that they are developing a revolutionary digital currency for central banks and that they are doing so by working with Ripple to leverage the XRP ledger are nothing short of astounding. We will be providing all the connections and reliable data to support this. Moving on to more interesting data, we have a leaked paper that is exclusively about XRP. According to this document, the British nations plan to use XRP to streamline all of their payments. It's a big shift. Our investigation begins with Russia, which switched to the XRP ledger after being kicked out of the SWIFT system. It appears they are now leading the way in implementing a more sophisticated system for their financial operations. The impact of Ripple is being tracked from Brazil to South Africa. We will showcase Ripple's innovative partnership with one of Brazil's biggest digital banks, which represents a major advancement in cross-border liquidity services, and then we'll switch our attention to Russia, as there is a particularly interesting narrative there. President Putin's remarks about the irreversible change and the declining global importance of the petrodollar highlight Russia's position, which we've even written a special post on. The significance of Ripple and XRP in this space is becoming more and more evident with the release of a leaked Russian government document titled The Foreign and Russian Experience of Blockchain Digitalization by Central Bank Financial and Technology Companies. This document highlights Ripple as a front-runner in cross-border payments, singling out XRP as the most appropriate and efficient digital asset for these transactions. But another document has additional information. Apparently from Ripple Labs, the title Ripple Centers on the Development of CBCs, Russia is mentioned prominently in over eight countries on the XRP ledger. This takes us to India, from which the Bank of India, the country's central bank, is negatively impacted by Ripple. Now that the XRP ledger has been selected as the platform for India's cross-border payments, let's talk about how this collaboration highlights Ripple's expanding importance in the global market for digital assets for their digital rupee project. Through a strategic alliance with Landline, Ripple is breaking into the Chinese market despite the government's attempts to crack down on the cryptocurrency trade. This move is intriguing and somewhat at odds with China's more liberal regulatory approach, but it also fits with the growing trend of countries realizing XRP's potential to ease international payments. Please keep in mind that the information in these videos is just meant to be seen for amusement purposes. I am not a professional financial advisor. I constantly advise people to do independent studies and speak with experts before making any financial choices. I appreciate you watching, and if you liked the video, please click the like button. 
Also, don't forget to enable the alerts so you can be the first to know when I upload new content. I'm looking forward to seeing you in the next video. Take care.